It's a sunny May morning. I'm about to set out on a backpack, my first backpack in over two years. I feel like I need to get out of Dodge. Now, there's my destination behind me. That's called my Mount Isla. Well, I guess this is my moment of truth. I think I'm adequately provisioned, but just never really know. But I'm only planning to be here for one night. <laughs> one night. I, I have an appointment tomorrow afternoon with Time Warner Spectrum. They're supposed to come by and fix my internet access. This is not like a major trek, but it feels like one. I can do this. You can tell my by panting that I'm winded. That's the desert, the high desert. And that's where the trail eventually hits the trees, <sighs> thankfully. Now let me just walk over here for a little vista point. So these are the mountains. There's the closed Highway 39. That's gated where it intersects Angeles Crest. It's no longer operational. I don't know, could that be Mount Waterman? Possibly. I'm heading up there. And that's the trail. Oh man. Wow. I love it. I feel like I need it, but it's exhausting. The first mile here is the hardest because it's the most climb. We're coming up to a part of the trail that I always like to study, I guess. It's an area that was badly burned maybe 20 years by a wildfire. And I like to see how it's regenerating where their trees are actually growing. You know, this is a taxing environment. It's, and it's, I would describe this area as semi-arid, hot in the summer and dry, freezing cold in the winter. It looks kind of piney here behind me. That's the high desert. So you can see <clears throat> that this area is regrowing. Little Jimmy, I have made it. I have made it. So this is the campsite at Little Jimmy. Here there's a cluster of picnic tables. There's bear bins where you can store food. I actually have a bear canister. There used to be a couple of funky, old, stinky outhouses here. They're gone. <clears throat> They're gone. But I have a shovel and toilet paper, just in case. I'm only here for a night. Ah, I can't believe that I've made it. I have to find a campsite and have lunch. I've got my tent set up. <coughs> I've got a little backpacking tent. It's called a walrus. So the advantage of a small tent is that it's more portable, like lightweight, easy to carry. This is my stove. It's called a jet boil. It's very portable. I've assembled it. This is where I have my food. It's a bear canister. Um, I had an event a couple of years ago where with a buddy we were backpacking at Vivian Creek in the San Bernardino Mountains and a bear discovered this. It was a mama bear with a cub. She batted around, batted it around. I watched. She eventually lost interest and kind of wandered off. The last thing I'm going to do before I kind of settle into this site is get water. So I have a filter. I'm going to fill this up maybe a third of the way. I'll use it for meals, for washing up for hydrating for my hike tomorrow morning. Yay, water. Okay, dinner, dinner. I have a uh, 
backpacking vegetarian chili and it has one of those self-cooking pouches. All I had to do was add a cooking element that was included and some water. And you can see it's actually steaming. It's probably repulsive. These things usually are, but they're packed with protein, nine grams. 